Okay, so this video is a look at the influence of the 60s Batman TV show, Season 2, Part 3. I'll just pick up from where I left off in Part 2 of this. So, in Episode 45, Batman's Anniversary, Batman and Robin fight Riddler and his henchmen, who are all wearing frog suits, underwater. In Batman Forever, Batman and Robin fight Riddlers and Two Faces henchmen who are all wearing frog suits underwater. In episode 46, A Riddling Controversy, when Batman and Robin enter Riddler's lair, the floor beneath them gives way to reveal spikes. And in the classic graphic novel and animated film, The Killing Joke, when Batman enters Joker's lair, the floor beneath him gives way to reveal spikes. In episode 47, The Joker's Last Laugh, Joker uses a device which plays his laugh on a loop. In 89 Batman, when Joker has fallen to his death, a device is playing his laugh on a loop. In episode 48, The Joker's Epitaph, Bruce Wayne is put into a straitjacket. And in this comic, made many years later, Batman is put into a straitjacket. Also in this episode, Alfred gets the Batsuit from the Batmobile to help Bruce Wayne change into Batman while out in the field. In Batman Forever, Alfred helps Bruce Wayne get the Batsuit from Bruce's car so he can change into Batman while out in the field. Episode 49 Catwoman Goes to College features a statue of Batman. And there's a statue of Batman in The Dark Knight Rises too. In episode 53, King Tut's Coup, Bruce Wayne and Dick Grayson attend a mass ball which the villain gate crashes. In Batman Returns, Bruce Wayne attends a mass ball which the villain gate crashes. In episode 57, Pop Goes the Joker, Joker and his henchmen invade an art gallery and deface all the paintings. In 89 Batman, Joker and his henchmen invade an art museum and deface all the paintings. I half expected to see Michael Keaton crash through the skylight watching this one. In episode 58, Flop Goes the Joker, Joker goes on a dinner date with his blonde girlfriend and they're sat at either side of a huge dinner table. Also, there's a bust of the Joker in his hideout and Alfred attacks Joker with a fireplace poker. In 89 Batman, Bruce Wayne goes on a dinner date with his blonde girlfriend and they're sat at either side of a huge dinner table. Joker's henchmen turn a white bust in the art museum into a bust of the Joker and Bruce Wayne attacks Joker with a fireplace poker. 89 Batman was like a remake of episodes 57 and 58, as it took so many ideas from it. In episode 59, Ice Spy, Mr. Freeze disguises his travelling hideout as an iceberg. In the James Bond film A View to a Kill, one of Bond's vehicles is disguised as an iceberg. As I've said on all these videos, Adam West turned down the role of Bond. If he had said yes, he would have been involved in more disguised icebergs, as a view to a kill would have been made during his time as Bond. Also in this episode, Dick Grayson operates the Batmobile by remote control. In 89 Batman, Batman operates the Batmobile by voice remote control. Okay, so that was a look at the influence of the 60s Batman TV show, Season 2, Part 3. I had to split it into three parts, as there were 60 episodes in it, compared to Season 1's 34 episodes and Season 3's 26 episodes. Speaking of which, I'll do one of these videos for Season 3, 
but it won't be for a while as I've only just started going through it. But hopefully you'll join me on that one too.